Welcome at my, nah, let's skip this, you know where you are. And if you're new on my channel, my name is Martin. I'm a German designer. I paint cycles and also a lot of other stuff. And that's exactly what we do in this video. I will paint a cycle frame in one of these fancy 90s colors with a color shifting effect, which look like one of these monster flies sitting on a fresh poop piece of shit. And the paint job is simple as hell. The only thing we need is a primer, a base coat, some of the color shifting fairy dust, a clear coat, and that's all. That is the color for the bike. It shifts from teal to purple. And that is how the bike looks like when the paint job is done. What we also need is a bike frame. And before I can start to spray on the color shifting effect, I have to strip the old paint job, prepare the frame. And if you want to know how to do this, check the stripping and preparation videos in the corner. I will come back to you when this frame is ready for the color shifting effect. And if you are from Germany, you need also a pair of flip-flops because German is an absolutely ridiculous language. We don't call this a color shifting effect or a color shifting paint job. We call this a flip-flop paint job. So you need the flip-flops for the flip-flop paint job. The frame is prepared and it's waiting for some shift in color and that's what we produce now. And that's like cooking in a kitchen and to cook in a kitchen we need some kitchen tools and also some ingredients such as a scale, some intercoat, some clear coat, some cups and also a sieve. And what we also need is the magic powder. So let's mix the color and let's start to paint the frame. And first I put in some intercoat. And to make this sprayable, I add also some thinner. Now we have to mix this together and then we can add the magic powder. Ninety nine point nine percent of the custom painters start with such a black frame when they do a color shifting effect. But I will not start with a black frame. I will spray this one green before I will spray on the color shifting effect. Frame is green and now it's time for the color shift.
Look at that beautiful shift in color. And do you really think I'm balancing only unpainted frames? You are so wrong. How is your blood pressure now? It's time to prepare this frame for some logos. The frame is prepared for the logo color and I made some stencils with Design Maker and now it's time to put them on. We need the Canyon logo, the Top Tube logo and also the E3 logo. That would be cool if it's easy like that, but it's not. I have to change to the paint booth and I have to paint the logos on. The logos are on and I'm nearly done with this frame, but what's left is a finish. And I like to give you a pro tip because you're still watching my video. And what I will do is a double finish on this frame to remove the gaps in between the logo color and the effect color on this frame. And that means I will apply clear coat, sand the clear coat again to remove all the gaps. And then I will do a finishing clear coat. So let's go ahead. We are no pussies. We have to do a lot of work. And that's what I do now. That's the most annoying part of custom painting, the preparation and sanding the frame. But I have to sand the frame one more time to remove all the gaps in between the colors. And then I can add the finish clear coat and I'm done. The frame is clear coated and finished and all logos are nice and smooth. So let's make it short. I will put this frame on a turntable for some nice footage. For my daily stuff, check also Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.